what's going on YouTube and welcome to my channel and welcome to my ab series. Every single Monday I will be uploading an abs workout with commentary to help you perform the exercise in a more effective way. It is quality over quantity here. So if this is something that you would like, please subscribe and hit that like button. This will help my channel grow and it will really mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy Monday, folks. Uh, pause the video there to write down today's workout. We're getting stuck into crunches at the moment, uh, making sure that we're contracting our abs to bring our upper body up and not focusing on momentum and just throwing our arms across. Uh, fingertips on the side of our head and not behind our head. Uh, make sure you look at something that's roughly 45 degrees in front of you. Um, this will keep your chin away from your chest. Making sure that you're breathing out every time you come up. We're almost there. Good work, Chris. Wow. <laughs> All right, and next up, we have got the ab bicycle. These ones I like to do nice and slow. Um, I don't like to go really quick and just like flip my legs and elbows around. Um, I feel like that doesn't do much to the core. You really wanna focus on uh, lifting your shoulder blade off the ground and keeping the other one there. Uh, making sure you don't bring the knee too close to the chest either. Um, you're just, again, focusing on contracting the abs and getting the chest all the way around. And next we've got the toe touches. These ones we do want to go nice and short and sharp. Um, again, try not to use uh, much momentum. You'll notice as soon as my back gets flat, I come straight up again. I don't really want to throw my arms up. What's going on, mate? Hello, my friend. And the poor man interrupted me. Um, but that's okay, we get started in a second. I walk in and you go, you're doing the push up, and you go, 1,600. 602. And we're back again. <laughs> All right, 30 toe touches. Let's go. Breathing out every time we come up. Remember to focus on contracting the abs to bring our upper body up. Nicely done. Short and sharp. The next one we have the reverse crunches. These are very difficult. Um, so do your best if you do need to use some momentum um, with sort of um, lowering your legs down a little bit further and really throwing them up, then do so, that's okay. But as long as you try your best to lower your hips down. Um, again, breathing out as you lift your legs up. Big breath out. Nice and slow and controlled is the key. Abs are really hurting right now. <laughs> uh, not too long ago, I think it was about four or five months ago, I tore my oblique. Um, so the anything with like the the oblique crunches and ab bicycles um, really kind of they don't. It's a, it's okay now. It doesn't exactly hurt, um, but they're definitely not as strong as they used to be. I'm not making excuses up. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right, now we want to hold a plank as long as possible. With this plank, I don't want you to um, kind of cheat in a way. I really want you, again, to contract the abs, shorten the distance between your sternum and your hips. Activate the glutes, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings. You're a solid unit there. You even want to um, squeeze your lats as well. This should be a very hard plank. Um, I didn't want to hold it for too long. I probably could have held it for a little bit longer, but I was like, I can't really be bothered <laughs> um, holding it for that long for this video in particular. So I do stop in a second. There we go. And on to round two. Big smiles there. So these ones are great. These are uh, so underrated. But holding a side plank and pulsing up and down, trying to keep your your body in a vertical position. Again, breathing out 
every time you lift up, really like think about your obliques moving your hips up and down. These are fantastic and definitely one that a lot of people uh, need to do more often. All right, so in between this one, we have um, the 30 crunches again. Keep your fingertips on our temple, the side of the head, making sure we just focus on contracting the abs and not just throwing ourselves up. It's okay if you do feel a bit of fatigue in your abs, um, just have a bit of a break, have a quick little breather and just get back onto it as quickly as possible. Um, the, the way that I actually tore my oblique was during Jiu Jitsu, uh, but I don't exactly know, like, I can't pinpoint exactly what re went wrong, but it was after a spa and I got home and my oblique was extreme. It was the most painful injury I've ever had in my life. I thought it was a busted rib, um, but it turned out to be a torn um, oblique. Uh, so back to the other side of the side crunches. Again, keep yourself nice and vertical, breathing out as you um, pulse up, and think about the obliques doing all the work. Squeeze them as much as you can feel them. The more you do these kind of exercises, the more you will feel the muscle. Trust me. I was frustrated at the start as well when I started working out. Couldn't feel what was going on. Uh, but the more you develop the muscle, the more you can kind of control it and feel the muscle working. So we're finishing off with the 60 Russian twists, so that's all up. So 30 aside. Um, again, nice and controlled and slow. What I'm doing here is I'm really focusing on the obliques twisting me over. I'm not just throwing my arm side to side. So really focusing on the core, twisting my upper body. Um, elevating the legs or the feet uh, will make it slightly harder because um, you have to balance. Um, so if it does get too difficult, you can drop the feet onto the floor. I'm just showing you one round of this workout. So by all means, I recommend doing at least two rounds. You can go through the whole thing and go again, or um, you can repeat uh, round one twice and then move on to round two and do that twice. Um, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Definitely feeling in the obliques in this one. Um, I sort of had to stop a lot during this. Um, I could, it's on my right side where I tore it, um, and I could I couldn't really feel the tear at all. But it was just um, very fatiguing, very quickly. Um, it's all done now. Um, hope you enjoyed the quick little web workout. I'll be seeing you again next week, um, bright and early on Monday morning. Thanks, guys, and see you in the next video. Woo!